In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the draw arc function that's built into Godot to draw an outline of a circle that you can then use a tween on to actually draw attention to something that's within the user interface on the window. So to get started, we want to create a new scene. Just make it a 2D scene and name it arc. We want to save it within our scenes folder and then give it a script. Put it in our scripts folder. Now within the script, we're going to use the built-in function draw, which this is automatically called whenever the scene is first visible. So you can use that accordingly. Make it visible and invisible. Make it draw. And then within draw, we're going to use draw arc. And as you can see, it calls for a lot of different variables. One thing you can do is either hit control or command on the draw arc, it'll bring up the documentation. You can then copy this whole string of everything it's looking for. Go back to your script and then paste it in here. That way you know that you have each of the variables it's looking for. Then you can just click before each variable name and hit enter to put them on its own separate lines. And that way you have everything. And then if you hit Alt or Option on your keyboard and click at the start of each one of these lines, it'll put a variable, I'm sorry, a cursor. Then you can just type in var space and that part's done. Then you can give each one of these a value. So in this case, we're gonna use vector 2.0. And we know it's in the top left corner of the scene. Give it a radius of 50 in this case. Since I'm going to be drawing a circle, or an outline of a circle anyway, we're going to do 0 and 360. I found that the point count of 50 worked well for this case. And I'm going to use color.whites. And for the width, I like 5. And the anti-alias, I would recommend setting it to true, because otherwise it's going to be very jagged. Okay, now that those are all set, we can now call that draw arc again and then pass in all of these variables that we have set up. Now, in order to actually use a tween on this, we need to take one of these variables, whichever we're going to be animating, out of this function so that other functions can call it. So in this case, I'm going to pull the radius out and put it up here. That way it's a script global variable. And then just for this example, we're going to put this in the ready function and create a tween. And then we're going to tween the property of self as the object. And then property, we're going to put this in quotations and radius. So you could replace radius with center, start, any of these, as long as it's outside of this function this can work. Final value, we'll just give it 100 over 2 seconds. And then set ease to ease in and out. And copy all that. And then I want it to stay there for about 2 seconds, so tween interval. Tween interval will have it wait for however long you can tell it. I'm going to paste the same line back in, put a 50 in here so it goes back to the original value. And then we're going to have a wait tween dot finished. And just to have this more interesting, we're going to do this all within a for loop. So that way it can keep doing it for the example. Now for it to actually update the value for that draw, we need to call a function within the process function. And that one is Q redraw. Okay. Now what you can do as well is put at tool at the very top, and that will actually allow you to see this draw command within the editor, and it'll actually do the tween as well. So sometimes you can get away with just um, doing the visible, and it'll sometimes work here, sometimes not. But if you go back to your main, and add an instance of that arc, you can now see it's up there. 
So now you can move it around to wherever you want it to go. And if we run it, you can now see it is now expanding and contracting based on what the values I put in that tween. So that is how you can use a draw arc function that's built into Godot and use the tween to adjust the variables and the uh, queue redraw so that it will update each frame based on the value that the tween has changed it to. Hopefully you found that helpful. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.